One of the major um, issues that pregnant women face um, is iron deficiency. If it progresses to the more severe manifestation, iron deficiency anemia, it can have severe consequences on the developing fetus. Oh, this is an enormous problem. There was a study done a couple of years ago in a, a Sydney-based hospital that showed that 88% of women um, were taking iron supplements during pregnancy at that time. The supplements we have at the moment are effective at treating iron deficiency in most cases. Um, the problem is the side effects that are associated with them. It can cause things like constipation, diarrhoea, cramps, um, and that causes them to stop taking their supplements, which doesn't then correct the iron deficiency. The side effects can cause up to 50% of women to stop treatment. Well, we've been collaborating with a group in, um, from Cambridge University in the UK and we've now got a supplement that um, mimics the, the normal breakdown products that we would see in food. So it mimics what you would normally get in your food um, as far as iron goes. And we, um, with our expertise in iron absorption, um, were asked to come on board and test it. And then when we found that it potentially causes um, fewer side effects, it was really exciting. It's iron hydroxide adipate tartrate. It's not a drug, it's not a, um, a pharmaceutical agent, it's basically a nutrient, it's a supplement. We're hoping it's going to be very significant because if we can, um, if we can get pregnant women to, um, to keep taking their supplements, then we're going to reduce the problems that are associated with iron deficiency during pregnancy. Obviously it needs um, more tests, we need to get this into um, clinical trials in pregnant women um, and that sort of thing at the moment relies on, on funding. I, I'd be hoping within four or five years we could have something that could be on the market. So this has the potential to um, change the lives of pregnant women. Yeah.